Vermont's Haskell Library and Opera House is right smack dab on the border between Canada and the USA, which makes it the only place you can check out a book, catch a show, and defect to a foreign country without ever leaving the building. Hello, Nancy Rumry. That's me. Yes, and here we are at the Haskell Library and Opera House. Correct. Yeah. Welcome. We're standing on either side of the Canadian-U.S. border. That's correct. Why the heck did they build a building right on the border? Seems like that would raise some flags for some people. It was built purposefully on the border to serve Americans and Canadians equally. And when somebody comes to the library from Canada, do they have to go through customs? No, at this time and throughout our history, our Canadian patrons have simply walked around the building and entered the door, which is physically located in Vermont. And uh, they come and go and we play this little game where we pretend nobody actually left Canada. Very, very unique. As far as we know, this is the only public building that's built directly on the border between the United States and Canada. Let me just ask you this. If I cross this line, which I'm doing right now, and I'm in Canada, I could I could demand asylum, couldn't I? I could claim refugee status. You have to go back through Vermont to get out of the building, so you're... I'm willing to do that, to make a point. Pardon, madame, uh, vous êtes canadienne, oui? Je suis canadienne, en effet, oui. Ah. <laughs> you come here quite often? Uh, oui, vu que je réponds en français, oui, c'est ça? Let's start in English now. <laughs> yes, I do. I come, uh, I don't know, once every second week, I would say. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I enjoy coming here. And you're treated well by Americans? Oh, I, I don't I can ask people's the nationality. I, I think everybody here is nice. Everything's in two languages. We do have bilingual signage throughout the building. Uh -huh. It's odd to have a library in the same building as an opera, isn't it? it did they, is that just coagulating for e economics? Or? Well, it was. Um, there are a lot of these sort of combined cultural institutions in this part of New England. Just well, if I went to City Hall, I'd find the movie theater. Is that what you're saying? In some towns, you might. Rick, you work here at the, uh, at the opera, huh? Well, I really don't work here. I volunteer. I currently have one foot in Canada and one in the United States, don't I? That's right. Do you have your passport? I actually do. Oh. Well, you don't need it once you're in the oh. building. Oh, I'm okay? You're okay. This yeah. is the only theater in the world, you know that you can do this. Was this built by Canadians or by the USA? I think it was built uh, by both Canadians and the US. They work together in a sign of cooperation, international cooperation in a way. Exactly. Let's walk into Canada, shall we? Okay. Uh, look at that drop. 11 years old, you realize that. That's the original curtain. It's that incredibly beautiful, and, and, and the artwork above it. I bet the acoustics are great too, huh? The acoustics are almost perfect in here. Is there a custom guy right out in front of the library, from what I hear? Well, it would be Homeland Security. David, you just came over from the Canadian side. Yes, that's right. Yeah. How's the weather over there? Same as here. Cold. I noticed you wanted to stay off the street and on the sidewalk here. Why is that? Well, because here I'm on the territory of the, the library. So. Have you ever gone out in the street just to harass these guys? Hey, I'm in America. Nothing like that? No, I wouldn't do that. No. Mrs. Haskell was the benefactress. It was her idea. It was her money to build this institution right here on the border. And there were some pictures up in the opera of some guy named Hinman and some guy named Stewart. They looked very unhappy to be here. <laughs> Those were Mrs. Haskell's grandfathers. I think they had very bad teeth. If I was to walk down this aisle, Nancy, and throw myself through that window, I would be in Canada legally. You would be in Canada. Any tensions between Canadians and the United States on the border here? Not that I know of. You realize if there was war declared between the two countries, you would be ground zero. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see too much activity like that happening in the library. Mm -hmm.